Hello Kit Kats and welcome back to Happy Home Designer. So I have been playing the game a little bit while I've been out um, since last week and um, Isabel actually came and she gave us the ability to uh, excuse me to design some of the um, amenities that are in the little town that we're in. So, so far we designed a school and a cafe. And um, I'm going to show you those today. And then I'm going to show you what else we designed. So, I'm going to go to my little design book. Um, So, we designed a little house for Muffy. I'm not entirely sure who we all designed for. I think we just did Goldie and Lopez. Um, but I'll just go through my whole list. So, she wanted a... Uh, let's see. Oh, it doesn't tell you. That's dumb. Well, she wanted a like classical kind of room so that's what we gave her it's very like rococo style which i absolutely love i love my little gothic sheep she is adorable and then next we have carrie and we now also have the ability to design like outdoor spaces so she wanted a yard for the kids to play in and she gave us that little elephant slide and the scooter um, that is at the bottom left of the screen. So that's what she gave us. Um, so I wish we could see the inside. I might have to actually go there. And then we have Pecan. Um, she just wanted a cool room to relax in. So that's basically what I gave her. I gave her a nice little kind of like reading nook kind of area with a nice bed um because she said relax and I always relax in my bed and then we have Pico um she wanted an exotic getaway so I kind of gave her house the um Asian look uh I gave her some hibiscus bushes um some wicker furniture the flower uh, table and chair on the outside. Ooh, excuse me. I am so tired. I just got off work and that's when I'm recording this. So, <laughs> but yeah, and her house is very um, oriental themed because um, that's basically what she wanted. She gave me a whole bunch of items that were very oriental themed. So that's what I gave her. And then we have tangy or tangy however you want to decide it she wanted a fruity paradise so that's what i gave her i gave her the watermelon table with all the different fruit chairs around it i also gave her one of all the fruit trees and everything a nice orange house lots of fruit stuff on the inside so let's actually go and see Cause I'm pretty sure you saw Goldie. Goldie had like her little reading nook and Lopez was the futuristic cool hangout. So um, let's go visit Carrie. So that way you y'all can see what little hangout we have for her. Woo. Excuse me. All right. So like over here we have like the little kids play area. And then over here we have like a sandbox and a little rocking horse. And then we're going to go inside and go check. So inside it's kind of the same deal, like a little bit more of a play area, but also along with the crib and the stroller and a bed for her since she has her little Joey. And that's pretty much it for uh, Carrie. So let's go visit uh, Muffy. Well, you could pretty much see Muffy. Let's go visit Pico. All 
All right. So, like I said, Pico's house wanted a very, uh, like, exotic getaway. So that's what I gave her. Excuse me. And then on the inside, I gave her lots of bamboo things. Um, she has a little shamisen. And everything else is kind of like super cute. I love it. I love the little uh, dresses that we can hang up now. So we did that. And that's it for hers. And then Tangi. Tangi was one of my favorites to do because honestly, I was just like... I loved all of the bright colors and everything. It was just great. I wish... Oh, excuse me. I wish I would have put Pico's house over here because, like, the cherry blossom flowers falling just, like, fit so well with her house. And then, uh, we're gonna go inside Tangie's house. <laughs> And see lots of fruit. So we have Apple TV, pear armoires. Um, we also have a pineapple bed. Um, and then we have like different fruit shirts up on. Yeah, there we go. Different fruit shirts up on the wall. So we got a orange shirt, a strawberry shirt, grape shirt. A kiwi shirt and a watermelon shirt and a melon shirt and yes now we can actually hang like ceiling stuff so that's pretty cool because I have really cool stuff for my cafe that I can't wait to show y'all all right so let's go to Did I show you pecans? Yeah, I showed you pecans. So let's go to the school. I really like my school because it, it's simple, but I've seen people make it a lot more intense. And I was just like, oh my gosh, guys. So zoom out a little bit. So of course we got the front of the classroom with a nice big chalkboard, the speaker box where the office can call in clock, uh, teacher's desk with the clipboard and the cork board. I have some desks. Then I have like a little science table over here with a microscope. And then I have the three different bodies. One's a skeleton. One is the nervous system and the, uh, I can't think of the word for the blood system. Um, this is going to annoy the heck out of me. I'll probably think of it by the end of this. But yeah, um, where all your blood vessels are. And then the next one is your muscles and stuff. Um, then we got some lockers. And then over here we got a nice little uh, telescope with a world and a star map. So that coincides with each other, which I think is really cool. And that's pretty much it for that. Oh, I am so sorry, guys. I don't know what it is about me and recording, but, like, I could not yawn all day. And then the second I start recording, I'm like, oh, 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 you know? It's like, I don't know what the heck is going on. Yeah, so that's the ca this is the cafe that we're going into. So I absolutely adore this cafe. And yes, I know it looks like a Starbucks. So we'll zoom out a little bit. And as you can see, I have a menu board along with like a hanging spice rack. Um, and then... Back here, we got some spices, some flowers, uh, some bread making stuff, coffee grinder. Here, let me let you get through, guy. Um, and then a siphon, a uh, coffee maker, and then a teapot. And then um, you got your pastry case, your soda case, 
and then uh, your register. So I think I did really good with this. I'm really, I was really excited about it. It just looks very quaint. I love it. All right, so we're gonna design a house or two and then that'll be this video. But yeah, I took it upon myself to do like a nice like mint color. So, and then uh, the schoolhouse of course had to have the quintessential red roof. Let's see, Ribot. I'm thinking for my house, a robo house. Sip my tea in a landscaped garden. In my daydreams, I'm a cowgirl living on a ranch. That's all we got. So I think I'm gonna go with Ribot. He just wants a robo house. Oh, hey, Toady. Yeah, you're from Nook Holmes, huh? I knew it. I'm glad I ran into you. I have a great workout planned. It's called Build a New House. You up for it, lady bro? Leave it to me. I knew you'd help me. We're gonna get super buff on this project. Let's do it, Tawny. Toady. Well, Robot, let's take a talk a bit about your planning requirements. Tawny, you need to choose a location that fits our client's needs. Hmm. Hmm. There's so many places to choose from. Did you get the whole map? I'll just go here. Confirm. <clears throat> Alright, Robot. We'll get rolling with this plan here. Tawny, head over to the site with Robot. Go get him, Tiger. Alright, let's see. So things are starting to take shape. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's all done. Alrighty, so first we're going to change the house into a modern house. We're going to give you this navy tiled roof with that cobblestone exterior. The modern door <clears throat> and the fence. Yeah, fancy fence. All right, let's see what he needs. Let's see. Hmm. Not too much for outside. Hmm. Alright, let's just do this.
<clears throat> Put some trees out there. Put one in each corner. Put one right next to the house. And then I'll do some blue hibiscus. Or hydrangea, sorry, I thought they were hibiscus. Okay. <coughs> Let's see. Give him a nice little robo table. Let's go inside, because I don't know what he wants for his, like, the outsides are so much harder when you don't have, like, a direction to go in, I will say, because, like, so one of the things is, is that they give you, like, a clipboard for outside and inside, and you can click on that, and it'll tell you, like, what, you know, they want for their house. So besides just saying a robo house, so like you just don't pick everything that is, you know, robot themed or whatever. Um, but, you know, so like robots, oh, that's so funny. So it's all the stuff he brought anyway. So like I could literally be done right now and he'd be completely happy. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that because I know he wants some nice robo related stuff. Gonna put that over here. Actually, I'm gonna put his bed right here. That here. Get some chairs. All right. Give him a robo couch. <laughs> What are you doing, kitty cat? Nope, you can't have that. Sorry, my cat got a hold of some paper that she's not supposed to have. 
All right, let's see what we could do for the walls. Got a robo clock. So we go right here. Get some decor that is close, because why not? All right, get a rug. Let's see what kind of rug we got. No, they don't have any robo rugs. All right, let's see what kind of walls we can get. Do I want the industrial wall or the robo wall? I think I'm going to go industrial wall unless they got something. Yeah, robo floor. Okay, yeah, robo wall. Uh, robo wall. Okay. I think that looks good, guys. Yeah. All right, let's finish that up. And talk to Mr. Ribot. So, in this, you're going to hear me doing some clicking, because obviously I would like to get a few shots of the house for the... I know I'm probably offbeat because I honestly, because I'm broadcasting the music to y'all, like I can't hear it because it's going through my computer. So it's just really funny. So I'm, I know what the music sound like sounds like, but I'm probably way offbeat. But yeah, I think this looks pretty good. I think we did a good job, guys. And that's the outside. Nice and open. Very modern. I didn't put anything else out there except for the tables, but it's okay. I think it looks great. Hmm. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I know it's not a lot, it's not much, but minimalism. Minimalism is great. <laughs> but yeah. I think I like it, guys. Alright. Wow, check this place out. A whole lot of sweat went into making it look this good. Thanks, Tawny. You learned a new emotion. Sighing. Yay! Saving. And I actually think this is going to be it because this video is already 24 minutes long. Surprisingly. <laughs> So, all right. Well, welcome back, Tiger. Thanks for giving it your all today. Looks like it's closing time. Why don't you go ahead and write your report and then head on home? All right, will do, Lottie. Well, what do you want to do? Finish work for today. Write your daily report and go home? Yes. Alrighty guys, well that is it for this episode of Happy Home Designer. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, next time, since we kind of went through everything that I've been doing, I'm going to try and not play it until I record it so that way, you know, we can do a little bit more on the actual video instead of just me showing you. It's like, oh hey, by the way, I did this, I did this, and I did this. Where it, it works a little bit better with Animal Crossing, but not for Happy Home Designer. I realize that now. So, all right, guys. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that. 
So don't forget to rate, comment, follow, and subscribe to the channel. And hit that little bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. So I will see y'all in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.